Hey guys, what's up? This is Nayani from Tech Barrack. And today, today in this Android tutorial, we're gonna learn how we can root our and uh, Samsung Galaxy S2. So first of all, uh, just uh, wake up your Samsung Galaxy S2. Go to settings. In settings, go to applications. In applications, go to development. And in development, you need to go to USB debugging. After that, uh, go to go back uh, to the home screen. After you switch on USB de uh, debugging, just go to settings once again and then go to about phone. In about phone, you need to search for the kernel version and in my case, it is i9100 XWKF3. So just note that down, that is i9100 XWKF3. So once you note that down, go to your desktop and on your desktop, open up your browser and you need to download a couple of softwares I have posted the links, download links in the description and if you, uh, if ever the download links expire then you can anytime message me and I'll give you the new links okay so first of all we need to download Samsung keys uh, that's uh, be, uh, it's uh, gonna be for Windows not for Mac and uh, this is basically, basically for the USB driver uh, of Samsung for Windows so just install Samsung keys after that we need to install uh, two kernels one is the insecure kernel and the uh, original kernel so as i told you we need the uh, we need to know the kernel uh, what's a kernel and there are quite a lot of kernels in here so it will be tough for us to find which kernel we want so that's why just press control f on your keyboard or command f if you are using a mac and uh, there you need to type in uh, the last few letters of your kernel in my case it is xwkf3 so i get uh, this uh, X, uh, gt i9100 xwkf3 insecure just download the insecure version from one of the links and then scroll down for the original version and uh, wherever you can find the original version just download it once again from one of the links that was for the kernel after you download the kernel now you need to uh, download this uh, file that is galaxy s2 root.zip and uh, it's got some uh, components like uh, the clock clockwork mod and it's also got uh, odin uh, version 1.83 and something like that so just install this uh, zip file and once you do that you will have all these files uh, in uh, i've just uh, combined all these files in one folder so I've got these uh, this exe file of Samsung keys. I've got the kernel that is uh, the insecure and the original, and then I've got the Galaxy S2 root.zip. And once you unzip it, you'll get all these files. So that was uh, the pa downloading part, and now uh, we'll proceed with the next part. Uh, I'll be I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So now after you install Samsung keys and other softwares. Uh, whatever you unzip it and all that stuff uh, we need to put our Android phone that is Samsung Galaxy S2 into the downloading mode so for that we just need to press three buttons together I'll just uh, show that to you guys first uh, just switch off the phone I'll just switch it off okay yeah power off once you shut down your phone, let these LEDs go off. Okay, once uh, the phone is shut down, uh, we need to press the volume down button, this one, the middle home button and the power button together. So just keep pressing the volume down button, the power home button and the power button together and just see what happens okay so now we get this thing that says that uh, the phone is in the downloading mode and just press volume up button to continue now our phone is in the downloading mode so now what we have to do is uh, we have to connect our phone that is Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, to the USB uh, that's my Windows laptop and uh, just connect the USB uh, I'll be just back once I connect it 
okay so once uh, you've connected your samsung galaxy s2 to the usb on your windows then what you need to do is you need to go to the folder where you have all the files i'll have to go to this s2 folder i have stored all the files in here and there you need to go to gal you need to unzip uh, galaxy s2 root and uh, just visit that and after that you need to open up odin uh, 1.83 exe and you can see that uh, it will show com3 connected so now what we need to do is we need to go to pda and we need to search for our insecure kernel you can see there is my insecure kernel and then just click on start once you do that uh, the kernel will start uh, getting downloaded on our Samsung Galaxy S2 and it will show pass and once that is done you will have this sign that's a triangle and this triangle comes when you put the insecure kernel so just let uh, your Samsung Galaxy S2 boot and uh, when it boots up just minimize uh, Odin and uh, let me just autofocus and just open up s2root.exe now once you do that okay so once you open the s2root opens up it will tell you whether you have uh, flashed the insecure kernel and have you enabled usb debugging so yes we have done both of them so just click on ok and once you click on ok it should ok so it took quite a time to open up s2 root and remember when you are gonna root now your device should be on my device is on as you can see and now in uh, this s2 root uh, you have to just click on root device directly and you can unroot the device whenever you want and we will have to root the device twice because it doesn't happen the first time it happens only in the second time so just wait and let's see what's happening on a device still on and the process is running on the s2 root and now our so phone is getting restarted and now it's saying that we can flash the secure normal uh, kernel so just to wait uh, till your phone uh, starts up okay, it started up and now just open up uh, your samsung go to applications and in applications just search for super user and as you can see we cannot uh, it will be at the end and as you can see we cannot still get it so we need to root the device once again I'll just click on root device once again and there we go and now we should have the root super user software uh, to be installed on our Samsung Galaxy S2 so just wait there you go so now once uh, the device is rooted it will reboot the device once again and just wait and now we'll after this device roots up we'll power the device off and uh, then we will just put the device once again in downloading mode and install the original kernel so that we can get rid of that triangle sign okay so the device has booted up and uh, let us just check whether the software super user is there or not go to applications go to the end and there you go super user is there and uh, super user basically gives, gives us root uh, access so now this is installed and now let's uh, let us just uh, power off the device and uh, click on ok 
now we'll again put the device in the downloading mode as I told you we need to put the device once again into the downloading mode so again we're gonna press the volume down button the power uh, home button and the power button together and there we go the device okay it didn't happen we need to do it again so just press the volume down button the power button and the home button together and once the device is in okay there you go our device is now finally in once again in the downloading state just press continue by pressing the top volume up button and now we need to install the stock kernel that is the original kernel so just uh, go to Odin version 1.3 yes, uh, you can anytime unroot the device through S2 root by just clicking on unroot device and now at the moment just go to Odin version 1.3 and you should see COM3 connected and click yes and uh, now uh, you need to go to PDA in PDA search for the original kernel I hope you guys can see that uh, my original kernel, kernel is here so just click on it and uh, now click on start once you click on start it should start downloading the original kernel again and the phone should start rebooting once the phone is rebooted uh, now you can see that yellow triangle is gone that means we have the original kernel and we also got the root axis so I'll just show you that we have got the root axis in this okay so the phone is switched on and now just go to applications and at the end you there you go you'll have the super user install so that's how you get root access on your Samsung Galaxy S2 and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial please rate comment subscribe and visit techbarrick.com